Phantoms match highlights are brought to you by Sovereign Installation Services. Right first time, on time, every time. Puck inside the corner there, moves out by number 24, Antonov for the Bracknell Bees, pushed away easily there by Alzins, and the Phantoms clear. Here comes Craig Scott on a breakaway, comes in, shoots, and he scores! Craig Scott, number 88, at 18-12 in the first period, scores a dazzler for the Peterborough Phantoms as he drove in from center ice, cut to the right, and put a shot to the top right of the goal on Alexander Madam. That's a 1-0 score to Phantoms early. Bobby, take us to the play. Mark Leavers. Mark Leavers dumps the puck into the zone of the Bracknell Bees. Milan Brock chases it down. Craig Scott in front of that with it. Oh, and a big save there by Madam. An excellent save there by the Bracknell goalie. Craig Scott had a net all to himself. Moves the puck out to number two. Tom Norton shot from the point just wide of the net. This line is on fire. Just tremendous chemistry from this line. Move the red. Craig Scott shoot. Another one. Craig Scott, the sniper, puts the puck in the top left of the net. And just like that at 1540 in the first period, Phantoms lead 2 to 0. Bobby, that line is just on fire and unstoppable right now. Well, they started off as if they're on fire, yep, and that's two good, two good goals they've got. Again, please set up behind the net. Barney it, picked the puck up, put it in front. Greg Scott just put... Oh, good goal. Fantastic goal. Robbie Ferrara before it is chipped into the Bracknell zone. Now chasing the puck by the Phantoms. It's turned over to Lloyd Gibson, who's hit heavy at the top of the tee there. Lloyd Gibson hit on the side there. His helmet popping off. He looks to be okay. Bobby. Number 28 with a brilliant move there, Veronica. Does a little deep, but turns it over at the point. Number two, Thompson can't get a stick on it. And here comes Mark Levers and Craig Scott. Craig Scott with a major deke, but a brilliant play there by number five, Carl uh, Lewis Turner, to stop Craig in his tracks. So here we go. Puck to the left of Metham. Met there by 44. Scott Spearing turned over big, and another big shot from Buckman, and a big glove save there from Metham. Coming out of the zone there are the Phantoms, dumps it in. 2 on 0 here. Baranek with the pass across the ice. It's in front of the net, but a big save there by Metam on Craig Scott. Craig's Looks for an option. Passes it up the boards there to the left winger. Looks across the ice, but decides not to pass it. Big deke. He's met there by Cam McGiffin, and he's pushed off the puck, but Antonov comes in, shoots. It's chipped in front of Yanis Elzins. A play back and forth before Yanis puts his glove on the puck to calm it down, and the Phantoms will now break out from behind their own net. Puck bounces off the boards there perfectly to Milan Baranaga. Bounce off the boards perfectly. A rare thing here in Peterborough. Will Weldon behind the net. Comes around, looks up top, and woos across the blue line. Shoots it in front. Tip there, number 28, Milan Baranek. Huge shot, but a great save there by Metam. And here we go. Number eight, Darius Plaskowskis walks into the zone. Shoots it hard and into the net. Darius Plaskowskis, number eight, gets a big goal for the Phantoms here at 16-31 in the second period. It looked like a straight shot. Right from the right side of the zone, fired it right at Metam, tipped up in the air and dropped into the empty net. And the Phantoms now have a 3 to nil lead here. Phantoms come back to full strength. Here on the ice is Alice Padlick. The puck couldn't quite get to them. Phantoms would have had another offensive chance. All three offense, but for the Phantoms, missed the puck. Coming in, 24, drops it, 88 can start. Moved in front for the waiting number 16. Matthew Ford couldn't find the puck, and the Phantoms will come back the other way. We'll try to establish some offensive pressure. Jason Buckman pushed off the puck there in his own blue line, but the puck gets to James White. James White hit hard there on the boards by a Bracknell Bees player. I don't have his number. Number 81 there. Carl Graham with a huge hit on James White, but the Phantoms regain control. Shoot on net there by White. Goes wide, and the net comes off its moorings. Truly really trying to get another goal here for himself tonight, as he should. Pliskowski with the puck, comes in, looks up, moves around the net. Metam is way out of the net. Pliskowski is looking for an opening, moves into the top. Shot by Tom Norton, blocked there by a beast player. Phantoms coming hard. There's another shot by Pliskowski, and another save by Metam. Darius Pliskowski coming awake here on a shift here. Lasman Richard Fraley drops the puck here. It is won by the Phantoms. Controlling the puck now. Milan Barada turns it over inside to Antonov. Antonov skates out of his own. No moves it up. Bees have numbers if they hurry. Puck is carried there by the Bees. Thrown in front and a big shot and a big goal by the Bees. Yanis Allison's a little bit out of position there. 
And there you go, at 3.59 in the second period, the B's four check works, and they put the puck right in the net. I believe that that was Matthew Ford that got the goal, number 16, driving into the net. Beautiful pass in front. Yanis made the initial save before the puck just sat on the goal line, and it was eventually hit in by Ford. Bobby, uh, four check finally paying off there for the B's, 3-1. to one. We're up here in the third period. Phantoms have the puck. Alice Padley comes in over the blue line. Passes it to Piscaskis, to Ferrara, and it's in the net right away. Lloyd Gibson on a beautiful tic-tac-toe play right at the start of the third period. Phantoms now lead 4-1 to one with a beautiful play by the line of Padlick, Gibson, Piscaskis, and joined there by James Ferrara. Bobby, what a phenomenal goal. Well, yeah, it's a good tic-tac-toe play there, and it all lines up here. Lloyd Gibson on the back post, just put it in the empty net. Fantastic goal to start the period. Well, the fans coming out with an inspirational start to the period here. And coming well, we know we have viewers in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who have been covered in snow. We're happy to have you here. We also know we have... Uh, oh, another shot there by the fans. Excuse me. Mila Baranek with another shot. Just goes wide. And that two big saves there by Metam. I was going to say... And the bees will have to regroup. Turned over there to Alice Pavlik, who visits to Plaskowskis. He's got a man, Norton, going to the net. Plaskowskis deeks, walks in, pass to Norton, and he can't get a shot, but now he does. And it is an amazing save there by Metam. He had an empty net, but could not hammer it home. I'm and always reminded of the great forward, John LeClaire, in moments like this, who would score 50 goals a year just by standing in front, standing of, the in front of the net. And it'll hit him in the legs, hit him in the gloves. He'll score goals, and you get the goals. Doesn't, it just puts the goal on, the, on your stats. It doesn't say how he scored it. So a shot there almost goes in the net. I believe actually some of the puck might have been over the goal line there. But the referee on the side of that clearly said no goal. You get a very close chance there by the Bracknell Bees almost going in behind the net. Another one in front of the net but couldn't get a shot off there are the Bees. As we come down to the final five seconds of this game, the Phantoms are going to walk away here with a 4-1 to one victory and two more points in the table as they win. As we hear the final buzzer off, again the final score, Peterborough Phantoms 4 Phantoms match highlights are brought to you by Sovereign Installation Services. Right first time, on time, every time.